Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. I'm at my parents' garage. It's a great day because we're finally installing a NEMA 1450 outlet to charge the Model 3. Before we installed this outlet, we only had a normal 15 amp regular wall outlet we were charging with whenever it came to visit up here in New York. A very slow 3 miles per hour. With the NEMA 1450, we'll be drawing 32 amps and that will give us a 30 mile per hour rate. Alright, we're starting down here at the main panel. This is the 200 amp main panel. And first rule before we work with any electricity, although obviously we recommend to get an electrician, but turn off the breakers. We've cut the power to the sub panel out in the garage. That's a 60 amp breaker. Now 60 amps it will be fine for our charging. It's all we really need. Um, because our uh, Model 3 will only draw 32, so we should be should be okay. And we won't, won't be using any electricity off the sub-panel other than the car charger at any time. Here is the charging installation sheet from the Tesla website that has information on all of the parts that you'll need to install or give to your electrician for the installation of your NEMA 10, uh, 1450 outlet. You can see here that the uh, when you install this outlet and you use the Tesla mobile connector, you can get these various charge rates depending on which model Tesla you have. Here is where they recommend the installation of the charger. Mine will be over here on the furthest uh, right hand side of the semicircle. All right, here's the sub panel in the garage. We're going to be installing a 50 amp breaker into this sub panel. The power is off. We're going to be running a section of 6-3 wire, 6, six gauge, 3 conductor with a ground wire out of the box. And down here toward the floor, uh, so we'll be able to quickly access it when I back my car up to the garage door. Here's some of the supplies that we just purchased. We got a square box, two and an eighth deep, the cover for the 1450. Here's the actual 1450 outlet. We have the 50 amp breaker that matches the sub panel, a square D breaker. We've got two Cable connector. One's going to go into the pan sub panel. One's going to go in here. And we've got eight feet of this six dash three wire that we're going to be running from the from the sub panel to the outlet. All right. Just reviewing the costs of the project here. This first item is the wire, the six three wire that we bought. Uh, we bought eight feet of it, and that cost us twenty two oh eight. This is for the circuit breaker we bought. A 50 amp circuit breaker cost us $20.41. A chrome outlet cover, $2.59. Two of these three quarter inch uh, clamp connectors are $1.76 for the pair. And the handy box, uh, the uh, handy box where we installed the outlet was $5.39. I already did have the NEMA 1450 outlet from a previous project, um, so I just went on to Lowe's.com and estimated the cost at $874. That brought our total project cost to $60.97. That's a pretty reasonable price to pay to install a much quicker charging option at a location uh, where you frequently visit. So in this case, my parents' house, uh, just under $61, and now every time I come visit, I can plug in with my NEMA 1450 connector and charge my car at about 30 miles per hour. All right, so we're at the point here where we're getting ready to install the breaker into the sub panel. Again, we've got the 6-3 wire. We've got these, each of the, the neutral 
uh, stripped off about half an inch and the two loads, the black and the red. And again, this is not a how-to video by any means. I'm just showing you what we're doing. I would 100% recommend you get an electrician. I have had some schooling electricity or uh, in electrification. So uh, it doesn't really matter what side either of these goes on. The two loads, the red and the black, you just get them in there. And what you do is you take about half of the inch of the insulation, three quarters in, in, inch of the insulation off, and I'm going to stick it in here and uh, tighten it down. Then we're going to place it into this position, empty empty hole here in the breaker, and we're going to attach the neutral and ground to this bus bar right here. You can see the wire we've run out of the box through the bottom through this cable clamp. And we're going to run it down to the floor. We'll show you that later. Okay, we've got our wire running down. Clamp holding it into the plywood. Up and into our box again from the bottom of the best course of action and we've got these screws here holding the 1450L into the box. I ended up at Lowe's we found this nice shiny chrome plated cover we'll be putting on too and then uh, we'll be testing the circuit to make sure that it works. All right we have everything wired up. We have the breaker wired into the sub panel. We have this wire here running down behind Old Glory and into our outlet box. Everything's wired in. We have our cover on. Now the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and throw. All right. We didn't get any sparks. And the breaker didn't break, so that's good. And to top it all off, my dad hooked me up with a custom... Tesla label for our 50 amp breaker in a beautiful red paint marker. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Dad. Okay, we're going to test the uh, circuit with the multimeter here. I'm going to show you that that's done. We've got the power on, multimeter. Obviously, don't touch any metal. Uh, we're going to measure across both loads, and we should get 250 volts. You can bring the camera down closer and we can read the meter. There we go, 240 volts, that's great. Let's measure from a neutral to one of the loads, there's 120, and neutral to the other load, or ground to the other load, 120. Load to neutral, 120. Load to other ne neutral, and load to load, 240, perfect. All right, I've got the Gen 2 mobile connector plugged into the 1450 outlet and we're going to throw the power and see if the mobile connector we're not plugged into the car see if the mobile connector will read any errors uh, if there were an error each of these five lights it spells out tesla they all should be green if there's no errors if there isn't one error then a few of these may may blink or show up red and we have success all green across the entire mobile connector, T-E-S-L-A. They're all green, that means we have no errors. We wired it up correctly. Super cool, we're gonna plug it into the car and we'll see what kind of charge we'll be pulling down on our new outlet. All right, so hey, super happy. We've got uh, no errors here with the generation two mobile connector connected. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into my car and again, uh, we'll see what kind of charge we'll be pulling down. Expecting to get to the top of uh, 30 miles per hour Super glad to get all five green lights here. I do want to point out that we had one minor hiccup while we were wiring this outlet. Uh, while working the wires into this box here, some of the shielding on one of the load, uh, you know, one of the, basically the black wire was cut a little bit. So originally when we threw the breaker, the breaker was tripping. And then after playing around in the box a little bit with the power off, we turned the power back on and that blew the breaker with a little bit of sparks. Um, so what we ended up doing is we repaired that wire with 
some heat shrink tubing and now we're all set. So let's go ahead and plug in and uh, this is great. Like I said, we're going from three miles per hour charge rate to 30 miles per hour charge rate at my parents' house in uh, central New York. Which is great to uh, allow me to basically top the car off before I head back home. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. It's the moment of truth. Come over here with the camera. Blue, 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 green. We're charging, no errors. Come over here. We should be flowing. All right, we've got the flow of the uh, basically it's the mobile connector showing we're charging. No, no red again. Perfect green. Let's go take a look at uh, the rate inside of the car. There we are. We are charging eight kilowatts, thirty-two amps, two hundred thirty-six volts. We'll be back up to a full charge in seven hours. Again, this is uh, way faster than charging on 120. About uh, 10 times faster. We're going from three miles an hour to about 30 miles per hour. So, pretty happy with that. Hey, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Give me a thumbs up and comment below if you really liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to get notified of all of our future videos. Thanks, we really appreciate it.